Welcome back to my channel. Today we will be creating this berry look. This is kind of a fall slash winter look and it's very simple, very on the go and very much so easy. So if you want to see how I created this, just keep on watching. All right, to start off, we are going to prime. We're going to start off with the Yesena uh, face primer and that is just because I like to hide my pores. And then we're gonna use some eye primer and we're gonna use the Urban Decay, what is this, P Primer Pro Potion. So I'm gonna keep this relatively simple, mainly because lately I haven't really been feeling contour too much. I haven't been using a lot of concealer. Um, you can use them if you want them. They're they're not always necessary. You have to look at what's going on with your skin. Um, I'm really also been into very simple and easy looks for for daily wear lately. Um, if you guys want a more complicated look, just let me know down below. I will do something more complicated. But um, for this, I am going to go straight into a foundation. This is actually a Sunshine Skin Tint from Milk Cosmetics here. Oh yeah. And this also has um, SPF 30 in it. So it's good for protecting your skin as well. So we're going into the eyebrows. This is from Private Society. I have wore off the label, um, but that is what I'm using to fill in the eyebrows. Now that we got some visible eyebrows, we are going to go into eyeshadow. That is the Hank and Henry Teddy palette that we are using today. It has some beautiful fall-ish colors and that is why we're using it. Um, the mirror that I am using is also Hank and Henry if you want to check that out. This was this is a limited edition mirror so I don't know how long it's going to be on their site. I had got the palette. This is um, Bianca and collab with Hank and Henry. So I had the palette. I wanted to get the mirror when it was um, released, but they sold out of it too quick, but I finally got one, so very excited. Anyways, back to the eyeshadow. We are going to start out with this one right here called Barely There. See, right here. Actually, no, that's not the one I wanted. It's the one under it, the um, car is on. Carazon. Barely there is this light one, but I actually want this one right here because it's more berry. So now I'm going to go in with this next color called Fuzzies and just blend out what I already did and move that more towards the center of the eye.
Okay, so I want to use kind of a silvery gray color. That palette doesn't have one, so I'm going to use this from Nomad. This is in shade Concrete Jungle, and I'm going to use that kind of on the inner corner of the eye and part way halfway down right here. back into this palette and use this color right here called fuzzies and we're just going to go in the outer part on the lower part of the eye. So I'm going to take a brush just to buff out the top part a little bit. Um, I don't want it too crazy bold. I do want it bold because I like color, but at the same time, I want this something really easy to wear out. So, to continue to try to bring out the color and soften it, we're gonna start off with the bottom eyeliner. I am using this pink color from Marc Jacobs. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm just going to use that in the waterline. So you can see that bright color actually made my eyes look a lot more open, which also lightens the look, which I really, really like. And I am going to continue with the theme and use Marc Jacobs right here. This is, I think it's fine wine. Yeah, fine wine. And I'm going to use that for the top liner and be kind of um, light with that as well. Okay, as you can see, it did define the color a little bit more in the eyes, but didn't really, it, it doesn't really grab you like a black would, and that is what I wanted. So now we are moving on to mascara. We're gonna start off with 4D from Misha. This is a K-Beauty brand, and it's gonna give my lashes a very wispy look. So I am going to use this other lash. This is K-Beauty Inspired, which means it's not really authentically Korean beauty, but it's, its formulas, its look is very similar, but I also find it has a little bit of um, the Western flair to it. So this one is a little bit fuller. This is from Joa. This is called Lash Up. And what I'll be doing with this is just kind of doing the edge of the top part of the lashes just a little bit to give it a little oomph, that's it. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go into blush, and this is also from Hank and Henry, because obviously I have a thing for their products. This is in shade Mama Merlot, and that is what it looks like. And I'm gonna use this to kind of define my face a little bit more. I'm gonna take and use it a little bit here and a little bit along here to kind of make my face look a little bit longer and to give my cheeks a nice tint to it. Okay, so I did put um, a little bit on my nose so I have a nice sun-kissed look. I like it to be a little pink so the color kind of carries through the face a little bit. And yes, I do put my blush on very 80s-like and I'm okay with that because I really like the look. Um, now we're going to use RMS Beauty. This is Living Luminizer and we're going to use this as our highlight. It's not really focusing. This one doesn't really ever focus for me. But anyways, that is what it looks like. And this is a very sheer um, product. It will give me a very dewy, wet finish. Keeping with a more natural skin look, of course the eyes aren't, but the rest of the skin pretty, pretty natural looking. Um, I am using this Becca, this is a tinted lip balm, I can't read the color, Blackberry, that's what it is. It's a really dark color, and when it, I put it on, it's going to look very berry, and I think it'll look pretty. So there is the finished look. Now I did use mostly cream products on my face so you don't really need a setting spray or powder or anything for this particular look with these particular products. But if you want to use one just to keep your face dewy, you can. It, it'll also be good for your eyeshadow. So that is it. That is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts on this look if this is something you're gonna be trying. And that is it. If you like this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video.